Welcome back to Hands-On with Reinforcement Learning. This section, we talk about model-free prediction and control with Monte Carlo. In this section, we're going to take a look at running the blackjack environment from the OpenAI gym, prediction, tallying every outcome of an agent playing blackjack using Monte Carlo, visualizing the outcomes of a simple blackjack strategy, Control, building a very simple Epsilon Greedy policy, and visualizing the outcome of that Epsilon Greedy policy. Running the Blackjack environment from the OpenAI Gym. In this video, we're going to take a look at loading up the Blackjack environment in the OpenAI Gym, and then understanding how this environment is configured. Let's take a look at blackjack rules as they're implemented in the OpenAI gym environment. So blackjack is a very common game. In the particular setting that the OpenAI gym has implemented this, the player competes independently against the dealer. The dealer has a very fixed strategy. He stays if his sum card sum total is larger or equal to 17, otherwise he hits. So he doesn't get a new card if it's larger or equal to 17, but he gets a new card otherwise. Aces can count either as 1 or 11. There's a term usable ace, and the usable ace means that if the player's hand contains an ace, and you can count it as 11 without the whole hand going bust, i.e. going above 21, then it's, it's known to be usable. So, the state is actually three variables. You have the user's hand, which is from 12 to 21. The dealer's one showing card, which is either from ace to 10. And whether the user has a usable ace. And because of the, the fact that the usable ace can count as 1 or 11, if the user's hand is below 11, you always hit. So there's no difference in strategy, which means that we can save time computationally to not compute value functions or state action estimates for this part of the, the, the state. So how do I know these rules, right? Let's take a look at where OpenAI Gym defines its environments. So if we go to the OpenAI Gym repository on GitHub, we can see that it's fairly straightforward all the environments is in the M's folder, and in particular, all the environments that visualize uh, in text. So, kind of, if you can contrast this to the Cartspo environment that we're very familiar with, that environment has a visualization that is graphical, whereas in this case, the Blackjack environment, you, you can create a graphical visualization, but there's no need, right? You, you, can, you can just say, the dealer is this, the user has this, we have a usable ace, this is our strategy. So this, along with Grid World and other more text-based environments, are under toy text. And I really do encourage you to take a look at how this is implemented. You would get a lot of clues how to think about environments, how to think about agents. And also, it will become more clear why certain things are named a certain way in the code supplied along with these series of videos. For example, in the OpenAI gym environments, they always name the next states as next state without an underscore. And I've tried to follow all of these conventions so that we have a very rigorous way to code up our reinforcement learning algorithms. So other than that, uh, fairly simple, you again make blackjack like any other environment. And then we can then see in the next video what's going to happen when we apply a Monte Carlo prediction algorithm on this, onto this environment.